We are rounding out our special week of EVs, the road ahead with a look at the future. Deroni Airspace is one of several companies that make EV tolls, which take off and land vertically. The company completed its first manned test flight over the summer. And joining us now is Deron Mertinger. Deron, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Deron, I'm interested when, when you talk about these flying cars, Deron, who is your target customer? Who do you think this product is designed for and makes the most sense for? So uh, it will start as a you know a leisure market for people who can afford. Obviously, this is a uh, novel technology, so not a, not everybody at the beginning at least. Uh, can, uh, people who uh, can afford a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle this is our target. Uh, we also um, expect to have more um, you know for uh, uh, first responders, but this is uh, this should go in the next stage. But we already have over three hundred seventy pre-orders requests, mostly for you know for people who can afford it, obviously. And Daron, it's truly here. What's the timeline then for um, the product? And then, and not just for you guys to deliver, but I'm curious where you think, what the sort of longer term potential is for adoption of these vehicles? So I'll start with the second question. I think the long term is just infinite. Uh, this machine can be used for endless use cases. Uh, it can rescue people. You can go and play in the yard, you can uh, um, uh, use it for uh, uh, um, first responders. You can use it for just you know travel or other um, We expect to start delivering the first units uh, 2025. Uh, this is the first couple of units that we are you know this is uh, already pre-ordered, and then scale up production from there. And Daron, what has been the response of regulators? So it's interesting. Um, it's it's hard to say, but the, the, the thing is that the United States, the FAA, is really behind uh, uh, China, uh, Europe, and South America uh, as far as the EV tolls. Uh, we are doing a personal EV toll, and uh, there's kind of new advances in this um, regarding called mosaic rules for personal use and LSA. So you know the U.S. the FAA start picking up. We are working with them. We're advising them as well. We're part of the groups over there. And um, it feels that it fits in our certification or the process of development. So the, the certification path basically is there. We expect before. Jerome, there are, oh, sorry. There, there are a couple of other companies that are, are also in the eVTOL space. Um, going forward, what do you think is going to be how does the competitive landscape look to you? And how does Duroni going to distinguish itself from some of the others? So um, most of the EV tolls are targeting an, an air taxi. So this is a different type of use cases, certification, more complicated what we do. It's not for everybody, uh, a personal use. Uh, what the machine that we're doing is for sale. It's not uh, a, a ride sharing one. Um, so, you know, more affordable. We're talking about three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar vehicle compared to 15 million. Um, we believe that uh, what we have is we're at the front part of it, um, the most novel advanced technology as you know, we are the first ones to fly manned in the U.S. Um, such a personal uh, aircraft inside this facility as you probably see. Um, we're doing well. We're very uh, comfortable with where we are and uh, we, the sky is the limit here as, as far as how, what can you use this technology for. It's, it's amazing. We believe the world is about to change. Uh, once we uh, we come up with the, the product, which is certified. And in fact, what you see behind me is already a full scale one that we're flying and it's to be the same measurements. So it's, it's now we're creating now the product, the go to market product, which is which more uh, which will be on the same basis, but will be um, all the certification and basically the intact uh, airframe. And Jerome, two questions. One, how high can they fly actually? And two, what kind of safety precautions do you all build in for the user? Um, so safety, and it will also uh, respond to the first, to the initial question before, we are doing ducted fans. And so, so that's basically protects from injuries. You can fly up to close to um, uh, 8,000 feet, but to be honest, the best uh, or most experience you can have is a couple of hundred feet above ground. Think about that the you know the best videos you see today are shot by drones, a couple of hundred feet above the ground, and the whole idea is to be part of nature, uh, not to destroy nature. It was creating new roads, 
Uh, so, uh, you know, a couple of hundred would be the comfortable uh, level that we're talking about. Uh, an amazing experience, uh, as I experienced it myself here. And so there's nothing that resembled that. Yeah, we saw you take a little ride on the on your uh, homepage on the website, which looks like a lot of fun. Jerome Merdinger, thank you so much. And we're, we're show, of course, showing that footage as well. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great weekend. Thank you for that. Thank you.